let's turn to Sofian Ben Aisa, who is joining us from Tunisia. And the name of the presentation is The Use of Herbs for Decreasing Impulsivity in Patients with Bipolar Disorder. Uh, Mr. Sofian Ben Aisa, welcome. Hi, everyone. Thank you. And yeah, we are ready for your lesson. Thank you for joining us. And you can start. Thank you. So, uh, hello everyone. I'm very happy to be here with you. So my name is Sofia Benaisa and I'm a psychiatry resident from Tunisia working at Razi Hospital. And today I'm going to present to you uh, my oral presentation about the use of herbs for decreasing impulsivity in patients with bipolar disorder. So for the introduction, uh, uh, we know all that bipolar disorder is a complex mental illness that affects millions of individuals worldwide and it touches one to few percent approximately. Uh, it's a mental health condition that is uh, characterized by uh, mood ranging uh, between highs of mania to lows of depression. And uh, added to this, um, uh, mood uh, swings, we have behavior patterns that also can undergo significant alteration. And uh, around this, we have also impulsive conduct that is play, uh, plays a pivotal role in the context of uh, bipolar disorder. So here's the question, what is impulsivity? Impulsivity is described uh, as it involves acting on immediate desires, urges, or emotion after, uh, often sorry, without taking into account long-term goals or potential risks. It can manifest in various ways, such as making hasty decisions, engaging in spontaneous behaviors, or having difficulty controlling impulses. And it influences decision-making relationships and overall well-being. So uh, here is the question, how impulsivity can uh, affect the bipolar disorder? We know that impulsivity can exacerbate symptoms, uh, which means that it intensifies the severity of mood episodes, but also between the relapses. It can disrupt daily routine, it can hinder individual uh, ability to function normally, and it can also affect uh, his responsibility and day-to-day -day life, uh, so can be affected. So. That means managing impulse conduct is essential in addressing bipolar disorder challenges. It can contribute to improve some control and individuals may enhance their overall well-being. Uh, they asked me for treatment for impulsivity. All the answers there, like when we suggest a treatment, they say, doctor, there's a lot of side effects. I need something natural. I heard from a friend that raised herbal, that uh, treatment that can help. From that, I had the idea to conduct this study. And the aim is that our study is to explore the potential benefits of using herbs for decreasing impulsivity in patients with bipolar disorder. So uh, for the methodology, uh, we conduct uh, a longitudinal and descriptive study for 40 patients with a diagnosis of bipolar disorder according to the DSM-5 criteria. All the patients consent to participate in the study. All the patients were followed for at least two years and they were stabilized, which means they have the Hamilton depression scale score under or equal to eight and the Jung mania rating scale score equal or under to six. And the, we excluded the patients with mental retardation or dementia. Uh, we, uh, the social, demographic, and clinical data were sued, and we used the Barrett Impulsiveness Scale to evaluate impulsivity, which contains a series of self-report questions uh, and uh, to evaluate various aspects of impulsivity. Uh, it includes statements that participants rate on uh, a scale to indicate the degree to which uh, statement. Uh, applies to them. And of course, the higher score is associated with higher levels of impulsivity. All the participants were put under herbs, uh, which is one cup of chamomile per night. And we used the BIS-11 before and after the use of chamomile. Uh, here, I want to just to um, introduce a bit the chamomile uh, uh, as uh, it's known as Matricaria chamomilla. It has two main types, German and Roman, and its origins streak back to ancient civilization. And it's really known uh, uh, as a wellness uh, products uh, ranging from skin care to aromatherapy. Uh, it's also known to have two main um, 
uh, effects. Uh, the main one is known as uh, it aids in relaxation and sleep, but also uh, it's explored for its anti-inflammatory and digestive benefits. So uh, now we come back to our study for our results, the social, uh, demographic and clinical data. The main age was 38.6 years. The most of our patients uh, were male and the average duration of bipolar disorder was 12 years. For the BIS-11 score, before it, the main score was 91, and after the herbal use, the main score was 69. And we have a statistically significance between the two main scores with a P uh, significance, uh, which is equal to 0 0.001. So uh, here is uh, uh, so here is why uh, chamomile uh, how uh, sorry chamomile can help in impulsivity in patients with bipolar disorder. So before uh, understanding this, uh, I want just to um, explain uh, some of the neurobiological factors of impulsivity in this mental health issue. And from these factors, we know that uh, impulsivity is associated with dysregulation of neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin, which play a crucial role in mood regulation and impulse control. And also, we know that uh, frontal lobes, particularly the prefrontal cortex, are involved in executive function as such as impulse control, decision making, and emotional uh, regulation. And we know also that uh, impulsivity uh, also is associated uh, in the literature with some uh, alteration in neural circuits between the striatum, amygdala, and prefrontal cortex. And um, also, I found that genetic predisposition also uh, related to neurotransmitter function are, uh, may contribute to individual susceptibility to impulsivity and mood dysregulation at the same time. So here is our question, how now the chamomile can help in impulsivity? So uh, as I said before, chamomile can help in reducing uh, uh, anxiety and uh, that which means that it aids in uh, relaxation and sleep. Uh, research in chamomile's effects on bipolar disorder and impulsivity, unfortunately, they still limited in the literature. But some findings suggest that its anxiolytic and sedative properties could indirectly contribute to managing impulsivity in individuals with bipolar disorder during manic episodes. For its anxiolytic effects, uh, uh, some studies show how it can uh, modulate the GABAergic neurotransmitter uh, systems and uh, in chamomile bioactive compounds such as apigenin, it binds to the GABA, which is an uh, inhibitory neurotransmitter that plays a pivotal role in regulating neural excitability. So uh, when it um, uh, apigenin binds to GABA receptor, it enhances GABAergic transmitter transmission and uh, promoting a sense of calmness and relaxation. And by reducing anxiety and emotional arousal, chamomile could potentially mitigate impulsive behaviors. So for its sedative effects, the flavonoids and the terpenoids, they are also two compounds uh, in chamomile. They are believed to modulate serotonin receptor and influence serotonin release. And as we saw before in the neurological interaction, that an improved serotoninergic tone is associated with mood stabilization and emotional regulation, which lead to emotional balance and cognitive control. So uh, now, we are going to the, explore the anti-inflammatory digestive benefits and how it can also interact uh, and help uh, to reduce impulsivity in patients with bipolar disorder. Uh, because we know neuroinflammation, it has been associated with mood dysregulation and impulsivity, and uh, it can disrupt neurotransmitter balance, impair neural circuits, and emotional regulation, and uh, it can also contribute to impulsive behaviors. So chamomile also can indirectly, by reducing the inflammation in our in the brain, uh, it can um, help uh, for an optimal functioning of brain regions, and uh, uh, lead that which leads to an emotional control and a better uh, decision making. 
So um, here is another question, because I talked a lot about the neurobiology, because um, I, I love neurobiology, but is there also other aspects of uh, chamomile that can help to reduce impulsivity? And of course, I think, yes, because um, uh, enhanced sense of control and engagement, uh, because when the patient uh, experience an enhanced sense of uh, control of his well-being when a patient is asking for something herbal um, and uh, is like involved in his therapy this is really important to have a positive therapeutic alliance between the patient and his healthcare provider and it can also help him to uh, take a treatment and of course to control uh, the, to control his uh, um, disease and to have a sense of control of his uh, uh, well-being and uh, add to that um, also, we don't have to forget the placebo and the positive expectation effect that patients have before using the economy as they heard about it before from their friends, from their colleagues, from their family. So uh, placebo and positive expectation are very uh, important and uh, also they can uh, lead to the release of endorphins and the neurochemicals associated also with well-being. Uh, also, we don't have to forget about the biopsychosocial benefits because um, psychiatry, psychology, the social approach, it's all uh, talking now about uh, a dimensional approach. We don't have to be a categorical approach. Like uh, treating impulsivity has to be uh, an interaction and it has to be a holistic approach that aligns with patients' desires and uh, being comprehensive for his needs. So, um, but uh, here I wanted just to say uh, that we don't have also uh, to know that uh, it's true that uh, like herbal treatment is important for the patients, but uh, to reduce impulsivity, but it, uh, unfortunately, it's not really like well established the relationship. So we need and we require more systematic investigation also, we have to take care of uh, the uh, interaction with the psychotropic medication and also the, the patient uh, variation and response. Uh, also, we have to, uh, to focus on the importance of evidence-based treatments appropriate to this disease. But uh, camomile uh, could potentially uh, serve as a complementary treatment, should not replace established pharmacological and psychotherapy for bipolar disorder, but it helps the patients. Uh, here to conclude, I want to say that the potential benefits of utilizing, utilizing herbs uh, as a complementary treatment approach for individuals with bipolar disorder and impulsivity are promoting. Conventional treatment remains the primary avenue for managing this complex condition. The emerging research on certain herbs uh, and their potential impact on impulsive behavior presenters a captivating avenue for further exploration, as I said, and it's crucial to approach this potential solution with careful consideration as rigorous scientific investigation, clinical trials, and comprehensive medical supervision are imperative to ensure both safety and efficacy. And thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Sofiane Benaissa. Thank you for the presentation from the field of psychiatry, which is the first today, and let's hope not the last. Uh, maybe just one question because we've got a little bit of time left. I would like to ask, uh, regarding the bipolar disorder, is it on the rise or is it decreasing in Tunisia or what is the trend, what is the situation now? Uh, yeah, uh, okay, so for the bipolar disorder, as a Mediterranean country, uh, we have uh, ha we have bipolar disorder, one of, uh, let's say, the most uh, uh, mental health issue that we have in Tunisia, more even uh, schizophrenia or uh, personality troubles or substance use disorder. Um, I think uh, the weather is playing <laughs> sometimes. I think... Uh, now we are really like facing uh, some troubles with bipolar disorder and uh, that's why I, my, my, my small research is trying to find some solutions uh, for the treatment uh, or for helping people. So yeah, it's, it's becoming a, a mental health issue that uh, is increasing these years. 
Okay, thank you very much for your answer.